Hello all, welcome to the Ancient Channel. In today's video, I will demonstrate to you this kit that I received. It's a detector of magnetic pole of magnets. So this kit will be responsible for identifying which pole we will have in some magnet. In this case of this magnet, I already have this identification. But in some cases, we have some magnets that is not possible to know, which is the magnetic pole, unless that you have other magnet with the correct identification, or you can have this circuit right here. So this circuit is based on how effect sensors. So how effect sensors can detect magnetic fields and as well magnetic poles. So as you can see, this is from China, so everything is wrote in Chinese. But we can understand the circuit diagram here. Basically, we have two how effect sensors, model 44E. One is here, other is here. Then we have two LEDs, one per how effect sensor with two resistors. And as well, we have some diode to protect to reverse polarity. And as well, we have two decoupling capacitors for the power supply here. Okay, circuit is very simple. And then when we have the approach of the magnet in the half effect sensor, we can detect the pole. Let's see how is the component, what is inside. Basically, we have a PCB. How effect sensor is here and some connectors and the LEDs. So I already have the board already completed, assembled. So let's see here what how is the board. Basically, the two how effect sensor is here. One for the north pole is here, and other for the south pole is here. Let me approach a little bit so we can see the south pole here and the north pole inscripted here, okay? So once we approach the magnet here with the south pole, the blue one, we will have the LED blue turning on. When you have the opposite, the north pole approaching to the, to the half effect sensor, we have the red LED turning on, okay? Here we have the connector for the power supply very simple so let's power up i already have the power here through these two connectors first let's check how how many voltage we have basically this board can works between 5 until 24 volts dc so let's measure here i have 4.9 let me adjust for 5 volts Okay, 5 volts, 5 volts, a little bit more, okay, perfect. Now let's connect through the circuit, let's power up the board. Basically, I will connect the positive here and then the negative here, very simple. Once it's connected, Let's let's check again the voltage inside the connector. Okay, we have almost 5 volts for dot 95. Perfect. Let's approach the magnet by the salt pole that is the blue one. Let's approach and see what happened. Then we have the blue LED starting energize it okay so let's try to approach to the opposite pole the north pole as you can see nothing happened because this half effect sensor is 44 e this is unipolar half effect sensors so in this case they can only detect one pole and this pole is south okay however he can detect the same model of how effect sensor can detect the opposite pole 
when he's assembly to the back, right? So if you approach for the back of the Hall effect sensor that is assembled, so this, this Hall effect sensor will make the LED red turning on, okay? So other way is, as I mentioned to you, that in the front we will detect the salt pole, but in the back he will detect the north pole, okay? As you can see, in the back is in the, the north pole, and in the front is the salt pole. So that's why we have the same model of high effect sensor, both are 44E. However, the way that they are assembly here in the PCB is different. Here, the front side of the sensor is here. The front side is always will detect the salt pole. And here, they are assembly by the back. So the back of the sensor is here. So in the back, he detect the north pole. So that is the principle of the unipolar Hall effect sensor. They detect the south pole by the front and the north pole to the back. Okay, thank you everybody to stay to the end. If you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and see you soon.